And these will be good points for you guys to attack. So I'll take advantage of it right there. Something, you know, this concept, a new deal, if you will. And this new deal was something that gave America hope. You know, we did a little activity on it. We discussed a few programs, the, the key programs. And what we're doing now is it's going to really take us to this essential question right here. How did the expansion of government, hence the new deal, during the new deal affect the nation? And today, we're going to have an activity that's going to help us understand that. And it also ties in with the conversation we're about to have right now. So what I need from you guys right now is I need someone to raise their hand and give me one of the two programs that you thought was most valuable to this, to this new deal. Go ahead. Quite huge. Work, jobs, name of the game, right? We need jobs to survive. America needs jobs to survive, and that was the main goal from this program within the New Deal. Any, anyone else want to piggyback on that? Richard, go ahead. Um, another one of the recovery plans was the Agricultural Adjustment Act, mm -hmm. which was designed to like help farmers like be able to sell their crops better, be able to get more money, be able to provide more for their families, and grow more crops and sell even more. Very good. And do you know the acronym? For that. Triple A. Triple A. Did you guys hear that? This is something you guys are going to have to understand, and a good way to remember it is Triple A. Now, to kind of go off that one a little bit, Richard, you said the, well, what was the main idea that you're trying to bring home right now about the Triple A? What's the most important aspect about it? Trying to help our own more. Okay, and how did they do that? By changing the prices on it? Changing the prices. Now, do the prices go up or do the prices go down? What's that, Tyler? The prices went up. Now, Tyler, why, if the prices go up on the crops, do you think that's going to help the farmers hurt them? It's supposed to help them save down the mortgages because most of the crops were destroyed in like festival and stuff like that. And so then they had a lot of needless, um, a lot of needless crops like overproduction. And so this was just a way to like have a um, start farming. Yes, and you are 100% correct. The Dust Bowl, big time, lost their crops. Now the government comes in and says, well, you know what? We're going to make these crops really valuable. We're going to set a price on them. And, you know, if people want crops, they're going to have to pay the money. Now, Joseph, you had your hand up earlier. Can that be a bad thing if the crops are too expensive? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, for the consumer. Mm -hmm. Because during the Depression, people didn't have much money, so uh, now produce would become an excess uh, food source. So. Exactly. You're 100% correct. And guys, we are in a great depression after all, right? So you think raising the price of something people eat every day is going to help everybody? Probably not. But, you know, the government stepped in 
FDR, and he said, you know what, we gotta do something. So he came in and he said, let's raise the price of the crops, you know, let's bail these farmers out, and you know, let's see what happens. You know, it's better than sitting back and doing nothing. So that's kind of the name of the game here. All right, I'm gonna take one last one before we move on to the next uh, part of the lesson. One more program. One more program. And I'm going to call uh, Paul. Uh, I said the Federal Emergency Relief Act, Relief Act mm -hmm. and that one granted money to states for relief projects to help the unemployed. Okay, so we have relief projects. Now, do you have any idea of what a relief project would be? And why that would benefit the public from the government stepping in and providing money for said program? Anyone want to help them out here? Devin. What was the question? It was fair. It was for the federal relief. Now, do you think, why would the government spend money on, like, projects and stuff? What? Why would government spend money on projects? Like, what's that going to create a cold? Going to create jobs. Going to create jobs. And again, the name of the game, guys, in the Great Depression, what is it? We need what? Jobs. We need jobs. Dave? Where do you work? You work at Togo's, right? Do you feel like, you know, without that job, you might be hurting a little bit? All right, you want that extra spending money, right? Yeah. Well, it's the same thing, except these jobs, guys, back then, I mean, that meant your family didn't need. All right, these were, you know, grown people who have been working their whole lives, and all of a sudden, they didn't have a job. And they watched their family start. So just understand the importance of this. Please, please, please. All right, thanks, guys. Now, this New Deal we've been talking about, do you guys think like the New Deal just was implemented and it just went smoothly and it just helped everyone, like magically? Yeah. No? You think there might have been some hiccups? Yeah. You think so? Well, guess what we're about to find out. We are going to find out what these hiccups were, was the New Deal effective, or was the New Deal not effective? And you guys are going to form your own opinions about that. So what I'm going to do now, before I group you guys, because it's easier to pass the papers out like this, I'm going to go ahead and give each and every one of you a graphic organizer. And I will explain the directions further once you receive it. <laughs> 